Good morning, St. Lukers. My name is Lana Stevens, and I'm the children's director here at St. Luke's. This morning's devotion, I was inspired by the story of Moses, one that I've read many times. Um, but as I begin my new work here at St. Luke's, I was feeling inspired by his role as a leader and reminded of where he started out and where God took him in the end. And so I'd like to share that story again with you and hope that it encourages you. It's found in Exodus 4, and I'm going to read verse 1 through 13. And then Moses replied, But what if they don't believe me or pay attention to me? They might say the Lord didn't appear to you. And the Lord said to him, What's that in your hand? Moses replied, A shepherd's rod. The Lord said, Throw it down on the ground. And so Moses threw it on the ground. And it turned into a snake. And Moses jumped back from it. Then the Lord said to Moses, reach out and grab the snake by its tail. So Moses reached out and grabbed it. And it turned back into a rod in his hand. Do this so that the people will believe that the Lord, the God of their ancestors, Abraham's God, Isaac's God, and Jacob's God has in fact appeared to you. Again, the Lord said to Moses, put your hand inside your coat. So Moses put his hand inside his coat. And when he took it out, his hand had a skin disease, flaky as snow. Then God said, put your hand back inside your coat. So Moses put his hand back inside his coat. And when he took it back out again, the skin of his hand had returned to normal. If they won't believe you or pay attention to the first sign, they may believe the second sign. And if they won't believe even these two signs or pay attention to you, then take some water from the Nile River and pour it out on dry ground. The water that you take from the Nile will turn into blood on the dry ground. But Moses said to the Lord, My Lord, I've, I've never been able to speak well. Not yesterday, not the day before, certainly not now since you've been talking to your servant. I have a slow mouth, I have a thick tongue. And then the Lord said to him, who gives the ability to speak? Who's responsible for making them unable to speak or hard of hearing or sighted or blind? Isn't it I, the Lord? Now go, I will help you speak and I will teach you what to say. And I felt so ministered by those words because I think we all have times where we feel like we're not enough whether you're starting out in a new role, whether you're beginning something new, even when you feel like you should be doing more, you should be saying more, but there's something that's holding you back and you sit and you compare yourself to others and what other people are doing. And I think we forget too often that God created us exactly as we are with the things that we consider limitations or not enough Remember that God has called you to this moment. God has created you as you are. And he is ready to use the talents, the gifts that you have to lead others. And don't forget, he will give you the words. He will teach you what to say. And just like he brought Aaron to help and support and speak for Moses. We are never meant to do this alone. There are others in this kingdom of God that God will bring into your life to help you, to support you, to bring in those skills that you may feel like you're lacking. And when I read this, I think it's all about God. God created Moses exactly as he should be, knowing the things that he felt like he was lacking. And he placed him in this role and God gave him the words and gave him the vision. He literally laid it out for him and all he asked him to do was trust him and go. And so I pray this morning that whatever you're facing, that you would remember that God is carrying it. He will give you the words. If you're feeling like you don't have a voice and you don't know what to say in this time, God will give you the words. 
And if you feel like you can't say them well enough, or you think people won't believe you, or you think that they won't trust what you're saying, God will give you the words. He will speak for you. And all you have to do is just go. I hope you have a wonderful day, St. Lucas. Bye.